Subscribe to my channel Story Time with Lenny for more videos. Hello, welcome to Story Time with Lenny. I'm Lenny Sugdom, and today I'm going to read you a book called The Elves and the Shoemaker. In an old and shabby shoe store, there lived the shoemaker, Stan, and his wife, Jan. Even though they were poor, they were very happy because they loved making shoes. Shoes for walking and shoes for jumping, shoes for skipping, and best of all, shoes for dancing. Every day, Stan and Jane worked hard making shoes for their little store. And every evening, they slipped on their favorite dancing shoes and waltzed the night away. The villagers loved to watch them dance, and before long, people young and old twirled and whirled along with them. All summer long, the shoemakers danced, sharing their joy with everyone around them. But soon, the bitter winter came, and as the weeks passed, fewer and fewer customers stopped to buy shoes. What will we do? Worried Stan, soon we'll have no money left and no more firewood. The shops grew quieter and quieter. That night, Stan and Jan huddled by the tiny fire, their fingers too cold to sue and their feet too frozen to dance. Let's go, 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 go to b -b -b bed, Jan chattered. Maybe we'll think of something in the morning. But in the morning, they woke up to find the most magnificent shoes. Leaping laces, who made these? Marveled Stan. But before they could think of an answer, the door opened and in marched their first customer in weeks. Good day, cried the customer. My name is Mr. Morris. I spy these splendid shoes in the window and I simply must have them. The shoes fit perfectly. So Mr. Morris painted in a handful of gold pieces and skipped merrily away in his new shoes. Delighted, Stan went to this market to buy some food and firewood. And that night, the shoemaker and his wife dance with joy once again. The next morning, they found three new pairs of shoes, even more magnificent than the last pair. Stan and Jan could not believe their eyes, but just then, greeting shoemakers, I am Mr. Mac, and I have heard tales of your marvelous shoes. Why, they're even more fabulous than I imagined, he bellowed. I would buy all of them, one pair for me and the other for my horse, Toby. So Mr. Mac filled the shoemaker's pockets with gold coins and galloped off. From then on, they were shiny sh new shoes every morning. Soon the store was warm and filled with customers every day. One day, Jan said, we still don't know who is helping us. I wish we could thank them. Then Stan had a wonderful idea. Why don't we stay up and find out? So that night, Jan and Stan hid behind the curtains. They waited and waited and waited until as the clock struck midnight, Three tiny elves slipped in through the keyhole and tiptoed across the room. The elves got to work with a stitch, stitch, stitch and a rap-a-tap-tap. As they work, they say, We love jumping, leaping, prancing. We were sad when you stopped dancing. So we creep in while you're dreaming, making new shoes bright and gleaming. All night, the elves sued until the sun began to rise. Then they quickly, quietly, they slipped back through the keyhole. Stan and Jane were so surprised by what they've seen. 
What delighted little elves? Stan whispered, we must repay their kindness. Let's make them their own little dancing shoes, said Jan, and some dancing clothes too. So the next morning, that's just what they did. Jan knitted a tiny sweater using tiny needles and suit on apple seeds for decoration. Stan crafted tiny shoes from dandelion leaves and laced them up with daisy stems. And together, they made little pointy hats finished with the tiniest pom-poms. At midnight, Stan left the tiny package on the workbench just before the three little elves crept inside. For our very special helpers, may you dance the night away with love, Jan and Stan XOXO. When the elves saw their new clothes, they were overjoyed. They giggled and wiggled and danced all night in the moonlight. But as the stars faded, the three tiny elves tiptoed away and vanished into the night. That was the last time the shoemakers ever saw the elves. But their kindness was never forgotten. And Stan and Jan danced every night with their friends, just in case the elves returned. And who knows, maybe one day they will. The end. I love about this book that it shows that when Stan and Jan were in desperate need of food and firewood, the elves came and helped them so much. This book shows a lot of kindness, which is really what everyone needs in their life. Thank you for watching Storytime with Lenny, The Elves and the Shoemaker. And remember, keep watching and keep reading. See you in my next video, guys!